Hi, it's Steve from the Owen Homework Club, and today we're going to read one of my favorite stories ever. It's by Dr. Seuss, Yertle the Turtle, and believe it or not, this copy right here is the one that I had when I was seven years old. So, enjoy. okay, let's read Yertle the Turtle by Dr. Seuss. Yertle the Turtle. On the faraway island of Salamasan, Yertle the turtle was king of the pond. Nice little pond. It was clean. It was neat. The water was warm. There was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything turtles might need. They were all happy. Quite happy indeed. They were, until Yertle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm ruler, said Yertle, of all that I see, but I don't see enough. That's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne that I sit on is too, too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. What a king. I'd be ruler of all I could see. So Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand, and Yertle the Turtle King gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his throne. And using these turtles, he built a new throne. He made each turtle sit on one another's back, and he piled them all up in a nine-turtle stack. Then Yertle climbed up. He sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view. He could see most a mile. All mine, Yertle cried, all the things I knew rule. I'm king of a cow. I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house. What's more beyond that? I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm Yertle the turtle, O oh marvelous me. I am the ruler of all that I see. All through that morning he sat there up high, saying over and over, A great king am I. Until long about noon, then he heard a faint sigh. What's that? snapped the king, and he looked down the stack, and he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac. Just part of his throne, and this plain little turtle looked up and he said, Beg your pardon, King Yertle. I have pains in my back and my shoulders and knees. How long must we stand here, your majesty, please? Silence, the king of the turtles barked back. I'm king. You're only a turtle named Mac. You stay in your place while I sit here and rule. I'm king of a cow and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house. I'm king of a bush and a cat. And that isn't all. I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher, his royal voice thundered. So pile up more turtles. I want about 200. Turtles, more turtles, he bellowed and brayed, and the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond they came swimming by dozens, whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins. And all of them stepped up on the head of poor Mac. One after another, they climbed up the stack. Then Yertle the turtle was perched up so high he could see forty miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray, shouted Yertle, I'm king of the trees, I'm king of the birds, I'm king of the bees, I'm king of the butterflies, king of the air. Ah, me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh, marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. And then again, from below, in the great heavy stack, came a groan from that plain little turtle named Mac. Your majesty, please, I don't like to complain, but down here below we are feeling great pain. I know up on top you're seeing great sights, but down at the bottom we too should have rights. We turtles can't stand it. Our shells will all crack. Besides, we need food. We're starving, groaned Mac. You hush up your mouth, howled the mighty King Yertle. You've no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I rule from the clouds or land or sea. There's nothing, no nothing, that's higher than me. But while he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon of the evening was starting to rise. Up over his head in the darkening skies. What's that? snorted Yertle. Say, what is that thing that dares to be higher than Yertle the king? I shall not allow it. I shall go higher still. I'll build my throne higher. I can and I will. I'll call some more turtles, I'll stack them to heaven, 
I need about 5,607. But as Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand and started to order and give the command, that plain little turtle below in the stack, that plain little turtle whose name was just Max, decided he'd taken enough and he had, and that plain little lad got a little bit mad. And that plain little Mac did a plain little thing. He burped. And his burp shook the throne of the king. And Yertle, the turtle, the king of the trees, the king of the air and the birds and the bees, the king of the house and a cow and a mule, well, that was the end of the turtle king's rule. For Yertle, the king of all Salamasan, fell off his high throne and fell plunk in the pond. And today, the great Yertle, that marvelous he, is king of the mud. That's all he can see. And the turtles, of course, all the turtles are free, as turtles, and maybe all creatures should be. That's it. A turtle, a turtle.